after marriage workshop uh, Monday through Thursday so we did make our FaceTime live time <laughs> last <laughs> week and uh, but we're back and I think Lori has some nice things to say about me today <laughs> <laughs> I came up with this idea of not to take your man for granted. That's what we entitled this. And I'm her man, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> Barry B has always been um, the kind of husband that is so and makes sure the home is running the way it needs to. He does that even, I remember him coming home from work and maybe the toilet wasn't working, it had been working all day, and I would wait till after dinner to tell him because I was afraid he would go right in there and miss his warm dinner and be fixing the toilet. So he has just been so responsible. And today is our third day of not having power because of the wind. Yeah. And power so the power outage <clears throat> has been hitting us and what you have to do is like camping in your house, mm -hmm. you know, and at least we have water. Some people don't have running water right now, so I really shouldn't be complaining. I need to tell you a story real quick. So we woke up this morning, five, six, thirty, <laughs> it's pitch black. Lori walks down the hall and she goes, What'd you do to the door? The door won't open. And I turned on a light, a flashlight, and she's pushing on the wall. She missed the door. I missed the door. <laughs> and, and my eyes, I figured I could keep my eyes closed because I can't see anyway. But so he had to come and rescue me. But is that um, it hit me as he was doing all this stuff and getting up in the morning and just getting things in order. I just I thought, you know, this is really amazing that this man loves me that way and loves our our household. You know, we have Darren Britt living with us right now, but just caring about you know getting the wood to start the fire. We have a fireplace we like to have real wood but it it's nice cold it was cold this morning yeah. which is nice when there's a power outage we can still have heat yes but all the things that he, he got the he have the we have these little hunting headlights that we put around our foreheads and so we go around in the dark with these headlights on and you know just so quick to be able to we somebody let us borrow a generator so at least one of our refrigerators can be cold and we still have other things in coolers and and you know the generator we're working just and so it just hit me today as we were out in the garage working on all this I thought I am so grateful for being protected and covered by a man and I love the difference between our our manhood and our womanhood and and what we do and how we respond to situations and and it involves personality too but it just I was really really thankful for him and and I thought that I don't think I don't think that happens a lot in our society nowadays because men are kind of white white male men are like the most unpopular people group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on, but in the midst of all this, I was just very thankful for my man. Cool. So I told you she has some good things to say about me. <laughs> That's cool. You know, I think part of it is my personality, but I do love to love by serving it's just that's kind of the, probably the easiest or most natural way for me to yeah. express love and communicate love and as so I'm glad I have to work on the other areas some of them and but I'm, I'm just a critical attitude a devaluing attitude towards men and a quickness to find fault and not trust that kind of thing and there's some men who definitely don't deserve to be trusted and definitely men that have not um, stepped up and lived well mm -hmm. but you know what guys this is our opportunity it really is our opportunity instead of fighting back or arguing back or hating back or whatever mm -hmm. may be coming against you um, it's our opportunity to shine and for us to as men to step up and learn to love and to be strong, not just a, a, a gentle, passive uh, love that bows down and does whatever we're told, mm -hmm. but a love that chooses what is right yeah. and stands for what is right and does what is right and good uh, when it's hard and when, it, when it's easy. 
So I just have a, a few verses. One that we're probably all familiar with is Ephesians 5, where it talks about husbands, <coughs> specifically husbands, and lay down his life for her uh, so that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of the water with the word. He might present to himself the church. That's, it gets into Jesus in the church. But, but, I mean, it's really a privilege for us, the position that God has given us, that to love our wives and in a way that actually helps them grow and become pure and become clean in God's eyes and that can only happen as we live that way first <clears throat> and we call our wives into that so I just want to encourage you men it's in kind it is that but it goes way beyond it <clears throat> to living in what is right living righteously and uh, living in holiness and goodness and what is really good uh, another verse First Timothy chapter 5, verse 8 says, But if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those of his household, he has den denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. That's a pretty strong statement. That <clears throat> taking care of our own family, is God has enough, enough caring in them to take care of their family. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's more than just providing money but it's providing a nice home environment. It's providing um, a, a, a place where things are running and working and taken care of. And uh, it, it's, I think it's providing a loving environment as well. And it is really important to God that us men think about that. And my, mm -hmm. I don't know if it was general for, for young men in my, growing up in my time, but whatever I need to do to, to work, to, work at my job, work at home, whatever, to make a nice home for my wife and children, and uh, and make God happy in the process, yeah. as well as then. Yeah. And then the last verse I wanted to mention is 1 Corinthians 16, 13, and 14. It says, be on the alert, stand firm in the faith, act like men, <laughs> be strong, let all that you do be done in love. Mm -hmm. And I love that, that passage. The common thing that I'm most excited about is that you provide that you've taken that place. It's not something that I have to try to kind of you along, <clears throat> but that is that is really important to God. I think yeah. even more important, and well, as as important as the other yeah. things, but to be able to um, contribute and to be present yeah. spiritually and relationally and emotionally with you know with your wife and with your kids and what's what's going on you know in the middle of conflict or whatever it is to to yeah. be a part of it and and know that it's not just the woman that is running the home <laughs> in a sense I run the home and the kids I mean we did with our kids I didn't have to work I taught piano but I did that at home I wanted yeah. to be home with my kids but it it was you know when you were done with work you were home um just running right alongside me it wasn't like that was my job so there's right. i think that's really important to god too yeah and standing firm in the faith Lori does as well she stands firm in the faith and being a spiritual <clears throat> leader a headship doesn't mean that i have all the ideas she has good ideas too i just join in whatever i see from god coming from god through her <clears throat> Act like men. The word literally, the Greek word here, some translations just translate as be brave. And the Greek word means to kind of be made into a man, be made mm. brave. And, and it's that process of, of growing up, but part of the process of manhood is becoming brave. And a, a, a man is different than a boy, and a, and a man can be different than a, than a woman in terms of uh, just our role and, and the strength and protection mm -hmm. and all the different things that, that we bring. Mm -hmm. It says, be strong. Be strong as a man. Bravery, steadfastness, and everything is done in love. Mm -hmm. Not just strength by itself, not just courage, not just being consistent and persevering, and, and not just being loving, mm -hmm. but putting that all together is a real challenge. And I like that combination. I, it's not that I do it so well. I just like the whole message for me as, as a man to be able to do that. And yeah. it, it takes a lot of bravery to walk in faith, to walk with God mm -hmm. in faith. And it takes a lot of strength 
steadfastness and love to do that and uh, that's our goal and our opportunity men mm. to provide the world with an example that isn't natural to the world mm -hmm. but comes from God and through his spirit he can mm -hmm. equip us to live this out and show that we can both love our wives give to our wives not be just under our wives being following them around doing whatever they want but at the same time not dominating and controlling mm -hmm. our wives our children our family not being angry What's going on so so <laughs> Lori entitled this little talk stand by your oh no <laughs> that song, there's stand that by song. we were singing that song <laughs> yeah and by your man. Don't take your man for granted. So that's a little, that's a message to the women, obviously. And men, I think the message to us is, let me see if I can remember what I was just thinking. I just left my brain. Um, oh, shoot. Make sure you step up. Well, it's, it's to step <laughs> up and let's pray. <laughs> so, Lord, um, I thank you that... Um, You've given us different, some different roles and different aspects of our personality and the way you've made us as men and women and that, that um, you let us live out of those. You give us the privilege mm -hmm. of living out of those mm -hmm. roles and that together it makes a really good union, a really good marriage, good relationships. Mm -hmm. And Father, I pray for the married couples out there the grace to be able to for women to be able to be themselves but also honor the the men that they're with and for men to be able to love and, and cherish and serve and honor the wives yes. the women that they're with yes and wives and thank you Jesus that you strengthen us in these roles that men aren't having to be husbands and fathers by themselves that that you are there with them that is so important to you it's one of the most important jobs and and the same thing you you're there helping us to be wives and mothers we're not alone and when we listen to you and follow you and obey your voice and don't just go our own way or our own feelings or what we think we want to do but really allow you to be present in the midst of our family um, it, it's a wonderful thing. We just we love having Holy Spirit in the midst of us. And and Lord, I just ask that you would remind us and 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 invite you in and allow you to strengthen us in the ways that you want to strengthen us. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Talk to you later. <laughs>